understand something, people of God. While this contrived election is going forth and while they're showing you what they want you to see and they're talking about what they feel you want to hear, uh, there are some other things that are happening behind the scenes that you need to make sure you're prayerful about. Halloween is fast approaching and the witches, warlocks, demons, spirits, they're all planning uh, something big for this Halloween and it's going to involve your children. And so you're going to really need to be prayerful to guard your family, uh, guard your children from the just the demonic onslaught that they are planning. And they're planning to do it all through social media and the Internet. Uh, kids will be uh, locked in their homes pretty much. They won't be able to go out and trick or treat like as normal, which usually those are the times when these spirits invade our children, you know, just through the act of receiving candy and different things. Uh, the whole trick or treat idea. You can uh, go on our YouTube channel and get the message I did uh, about that, about uh, Halloween, uh, to get more information on that. But because kids are going to be in the home, they're going to target your children through horror uh, images, horror movies, just all kinds of things. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, horror movies are they open portals in your home. Uh, they actually put actual spells. They actually put actual incantations and different things in these horror movies so that when you watch them, you invite those spirits into your home, into your life. Uh, and then you're tormented by them. And a lot of people don't like to relate their spiritual situation to what they have done uh, with these horror movies and trick or treating and different things. But I'm telling you, it's it's very much related. I've talked to witches. I've talked to warlocks. I've talked to ex Satanists. I've talked to people that were high up in the church of Satan and high up in the occult and all of those things. And they tell me that this is the season where their uh, works are amplified, where their powers are amplified. And so they use your ignorance to invade your home, invade your children. And then you're wondering why your children are defiant, why they won't listen to you, why they don't even want to choose the God that you serve. Uh, and it's because of this. And then a lot of times you're distorted and your mind is 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 clogged and cloudy and uh, you can't pray and you can't get the breakthrough you need and you can't really even come up with a good prayer schedule because of the mind fog that these demons and these spirits have brought into your life. So you need to be very careful during this time and we need to understand what the enemy's doing uh, and we need to make sure that we're praying with the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen, you know, I don't know what you believe, but you better believe in 2020 in the power of the Holy Ghost. You better believe that there is a power greater than the devil's power. You better believe that the works that the disciples did are relevant to us right now. You better believe that God's authority is the same authority they had, and you better stand on it in this last and evil day.